Spoilers alert to follow. The movie opens with a scientist transplanting an enigmatic creature into his own body, resulting in his eyes taking on a blue tint and transforming him into a kind of werewolf. Later, the protagonist, called Lang Jun, is delivering goods in his car when he hears reports of people mysteriously disappearing in the city. During his journey, he receives a birthday call from his uncle, Jang. While on the road, he comes across an overturned vehicle and rushes to help the driver, but is surprised when the creature seen at the beginning of the movie emerges from the body of the accident victim and attacks him. As a result, Lang Jun also undergoes the transformation and becomes a werewolf. At this point, a group of strangers appear, apparently with the aim of capturing him, but Lang Jun easily defeats them. However, one of the combatants uses a special green bullet to wound him, forcing him to flee. The leader of the group is not satisfied with this outcome, as he has been looking for someone to host the creature for some time, but has so far been unsuccessful. Upon returning home, Lang Jun begins to exhibit animalistic behavior, eating uncontrollably and vomiting from overeating. When he sees his reflection in the mirror, he sees his image as that of a werewolf, which frightens him and makes him lose consciousness. When he wakes up, he notices that his hearing is significantly sharper. A morning news report mentions the reappearance of scratches on the walls, the same one seen 12 years ago, leaving him perplexed. One morning, Lang Jun's boss confronts him for leaving his delivery van abandoned on the road the night before. In a fit of rage, the boss tries to hit Lang Jun with a can, but Lang Jun defends himself and the can hits the wall with considerable force, resulting in a crack. The superior is alarmed by the incident, while Lang Jun leaves in silence. Unbeknownst to him, someone is watching him closely. While wandering the streets, he intervenes to save a little girl from an accident, which brings back memories of his childhood, when he was unable to defend himself due to his weakness, and was often saved by his friend. He remembers that his friend is having a boxing match and quickly goes to watch the fight and witnesses her win against her opponent. During the fight, the opponent knocks her friend down, and Lang Jun rushes to her aid. Then the son of Lang Jun's superior appears and challenges him to a boxing match, which Lang Jun accepts. During the bout, Lang Jun is hit by a sharp blow and loses consciousness. At the same time, a leader of a criminal organization is watching Lang Jun closely. It is later revealed that the scientist mentioned at the beginning of the movie is actually Lang Jun's late father, who died under mysterious circumstances, as did his mother, who died of an illness. This left Lang Jun alone. The next scene reveals that Lang Jun is the last hope for a company experiment, as the creature inside his body has completely fused with him. As a result, the leader of the Sanyulin organization orders his subordinates to capture Lang Jun as soon as possible. Meanwhile, he wakes up at the home of his friend, Chao Yu, who questions him about why he got into a fight, despite her warnings. At that moment, he notices a bandage on her face, made by the Sanyulin company where his father used to work. It's the same company where the soldier is employed and which tried to attack Lang Jun the night before. Chao Yu then shows Lang Jun a photo of her missing brother. Soon after, members of the company arrive to capture Lang Jun, but the friends manage to hide under a car. To track their movements, they leave one of their smartphones in the enemy's vehicle. Lang Jun explains to his friend that they want to capture him because of the creature inside him, which the company is researching. For more information. He arrives in time to save his uncle from a fire in the laboratory. Unfortunately, Lang Jun's uncle is unaware of the company's existence. After returning home, Lang Jun realizes that he is being watched and captures the stranger. This individual confesses to being a hacker and joins the team, providing information about the company's illicit activities. As well as trading in oil, the company, where Lang Jun's father and uncle worked, 
is known for dealing in illegal chemical weapons and investing in genetic research. The hacker also reveals that he talked to Chow Yu's brother before his disappearance, and that all missing persons are challenged to fighting duels before they disappear. Chow Yu confirms this, mentioning that his brother received the same offer. The next day, Lang Jun goes to the beach with Chow Yu. During the night, he receives a warning phone call from a hacker about imminent danger. Sanyulin and his henchmen arrive at the same place, forcing Lang Jun to go with them. Chow Yu follows them and confronts the bandits to save Lang Jun. Later, they visit Uncle Jang to discuss the situation. He reveals that both he and Lang Jun's father used to work for the company, trying to develop a drug based on wolf genes to cure diseases. After Lang Jun's father died, the project was halted. Lang Jun asks about the cause of his father's death, and Uncle Jang explains that after Lang Jun's mother died, his father lost his motivation and started drinking. Sanyulin ordered him to continue his research, but a fire in the laboratory resulted in the death of Lang Jun's father, who couldn't get out because the door was locked. This makes Lang Jun furious, but his uncle advises him not to confront the company because of its great power. Later, the owner of the company arrives with his men and kills his uncle in front of Lang Jun. Enraged, Lang Jun transforms into a werewolf and attacks the bandits, but is hit by a green bullet, reverting to his human form. Chao Yu distracts the enemies and throws Lang Jun out of the window. Just then, the hacker appears and rescues him from the scene. Sitting on the beach, Lang Jun remembers his past as he looks at the locket containing a photo of him and his father. When he shows the locket to his hacker friend, he recognizes their boxing gym before it was renovated after the fire. The hacker accidentally discovers that the locket works as a key. After this revelation, they decide to go to the boxing gym. In the basement, they come across evidence left by werewolves. While exploring the area, Lang Jun finds a box and uses his medallion to open it. Inside, he discovers a tape recorded by his father. He reveals that he had developed a cure to save his mother, but when he finished it, she had already died. He decided to abandon the project, but the company continued to use the substance as a weapon, resulting in numerous deaths. He regrets having to leave his son, but puts his trust in him. After assimilating the truth, Lang Jun realizes his maturity and decides to cut his hair to adopt a more adult style. Meanwhile, the intruders search Uncle Jang's laboratory and discover a container containing a hologram of a creature with multiple legs, which results in the unexpected death of the head of the company. Meanwhile, the friends locate the lab, located on a ship at the docks. Using a high-tech drone, they neutralize the guards with tranquilizer darts. Chao Yu and his brother Lang Jun are confined in a laboratory. Chao Yu spots his brother in the next room and assures him that his friend will free them. Lang Jun then sneaks into the lab through an opening and confronts a group of guards, using his mutant powers to defeat them. The hacker then sets off in search of evidence against the Sanulan company, while Lang Jun tries to free the prisoners. He arrives at the cells and starts searching for the keys to free his comrades. However, his uncle Jang abruptly appears and reveals that he survived thanks to Lang Jun's blood. Jang has developed a cure from this blood, making it stable, and now wishes to collaborate with Lang Jun to create a world free of disease and death. Suddenly, a video is activated showing a discussion between the uncle and Lang Jun's father about the creation of chemical weapons, with Lang Jun's father refusing to participate. The uncle then set fire to the laboratory and locked it up, revealing himself to be responsible for his death. A company agent shoots the young man's uncle, but he turns out to be immune to the shots because of the drug made from Lang Jun's blood that he injected into himself, confirming that Lang Jun's uncle is the real villain, responsible not only for his father's death, but also that of the head of the Sanulan company. Facing his werewolf-turned uncle, 
Lang Jun starts a fight that extends to the street. Just then, the hacker frees Chao Yu and her brother, and everyone rushes to Lang Jun's aid. Chao Yu tries to choke the evil werewolf with a rope, but to no avail. The werewolf throws her to the ground, about to kill her in front of her nephew. Lang Jun intervenes, grabbing the rope and quickly lifting his uncle up. At that moment, the hacker activates the electricity and Chao Yu touches the cable to the side of the ship, causing the evil werewolf to die. After the events, Lang Jun reads a book at home while the news reports that all the missing people have been found. However, mysterious marks remain on their bodies, and an unknown hacker has revealed the truth about the Sanulan company to the public. That was our summary for today. If you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.